Shanghai is seeing more of what are known as American trendy brands like Coach and Michael Kors and Tory Burch. They're often half of the cost of major luxury brands like Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Zhang Tao finds out who's been buying them. 23-year-old Xin Ji Chen works in a trading company in Shanghai and makes around 100,000 yuan a year. She and her friends aspire to own handbags or shoes from luxury brands like Louis Vuitton or Prada. But spending a month's salary on a major handbag brand doesn't seem to make any sense, for now at least. That's why she goes searching for the trendy ones. I've got a top line bag from Miu Miu, but when I go out with it, I have to be very careful not to scratch it because it's expensive. I think that expensive bag just isn't reasonable for someone my age. A second line bag is much more suitable for someone in my age group. Most coach bags sell for around 3,000 RMB, whereas the average price for Gucci bags in China is around 8,000 RMB. Shirley Li, director of promotions for IAPM's leasing department, says her mall of 120,000 square meters started leasing two years ago, and all retail spaces are now taken. The mall boasts more than 230 international brands, both first tier and affordable. Li says, compared with top luxury brands, the affordable luxury brands are more optimistic about the China market. I think Chinese people are now. Um uh, more well educated and they have uh, more chances to travel uh, around and they have experience uh, about the uh, they have the experience to learn from the culture from uh, the, around the world and so they are more well received with a different kind of uh, quality and designer brands Taking Coach as an example, its latest quarterly physical results through December 28th show that whereas its sales in North America decreased 9 percent, its sales in China increased 25 percent. China revenue at Gucci, by contrast, expanded only about 2 percent in 2013. Industry insiders believe the affordable brands will continue their gains in the China market. Experts also point out that the American trendy and relatively low-priced brands and the European established top brands don't always target the same customers. With the number of China's luxury consumers set to expand by 70 million to 400 million people by 2020, there is a room for both U.S. and European brands to flourish. Zhang Tao, ICS4 CCTV, Shanghai.